Hey everyone, today I've got a really quick unboxing for you um, of, as you can tell from the title, Office 4 Mac 2008. I think it's called, um, it is Home and Student Edition. Um, this one comes in at £99.95, so practically £100, which is $200. Um, just as you can see, I got this from the um, from the Apple store on Regent Street when I was in London yesterday. Um, so I basically, before I bought this, I played around with it for about half an hour in the store because, as you know, it's basically on at least on Regent Street. It's like a free internet cafe, and it's got all the applications installed. So I played around with it first, and um, I mean, weighing it, weighing the pros and cons up against iWork, uh, this is Office is definitely. 70 to 80 percent better than iWork, and it's it's because Microsoft has been in a business of um, of making business-like applications, so word processing, <coughs> excuse me, PowerPoint, Excel. Um, so basically, I went for this one because it's it's a lot more useful, easy to use, and a lot more functional. Um, so there's that there, and I also got the um, Nike Sport armband for the new Nanos. So I'll go ahead and open. This is 41st, and in good old uh, John and Echo tradition, we've got the smallest knife we could find. <laughs> so I'll step that up. And for all those people who missed the shrink wrap <laughs> uh, from John's unboxing of his Office 2008, that is the. Can you hear it? <laughs> there you go. So, let's see that there. Nothing in the box. Actually, if you, if you open the box, um, all you really get is a CD. Um, so you get these two things inside. Well, this is quite a big box. So I would have thought Microsoft would have been able to save more space. Uh, so you get basically the install guide, and you get the three keys on the back and the CD. Which I'll just take out. Now I was going to install this today. Um, but when I visited the Apple Store for what was initially what I thought an iPad Touch problem, um, I found out that there were a few problems with the laptop, which was causing some crashes and other miscellaneous errors. So I'm, I'll be reinstalling the leopard from scratch, completely deleting it, um, and then installing everything else. So I'll let you know how that goes. I'll just quickly open this for you as well. Um, You just you get nothing else in there. Um, it's an armband. So let's see how this is done. Um, okay. Interesting. So you get you take the iPod image, take that out. It's tough, it's a bit tight, and then you put back inside, so from the back, you've got a little slot on the back there, you basically, I assume you just try and squeeze your iPhone, um, so I should try and do. I'm not sure how people actually get this in because, um, it seems quite tight to get in, oh there we go, perfect, perfect, hmm, okay, let's undo that. <laughs> I, do that. Hmm. I don't see how that's going to work actually. Well, anyway, whilst I struggle to get this on, so basically this is what it would look like. Um, so, show you there. That's what it would look like on your arm. Attach on so you can be running across. Also, what I plan to buy is the um, new Nike watch which controls the receiver. So it's, basically, it's got no watch faces on, you just click it in and place, but I'll do. I'll be doing a review of that as soon as I find out where to buy one from and actually save some money to be able to buy one. Um, right, so yeah, great. Um, well, I'll be doing a follow-up to these, so if you keep an eye out, and also if you uh, visit mine and John's blog, uh, johnfallacres.blogspot.com for all the latest uh, news and tech reviews and all our latest videos before they come onto YouTube. Uh, thanks very much for watching, guys, and as always, uh, if you enjoy the video, please subscribe. If you have any comments, feel free to comment and feel free to make video responses. Have a nice day wherever you are. Take care. Bye-bye.